Hi. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Welcome to this cozy space of my home. It's a very rainy night. There's thunder and lightning outside. And I thought it was a cool night to experiment with makeup. I haven't been doing my makeup as probably most of people. I did my eyebrows today because I had a bunch of meetings and this was me putting some effort. <laughs> and also I've been kind of a naughty girl and I've been ordering a lot online and I have a bunch of new makeup to try. I got two packages today, so that's what I'm gonna try out. I got some stuff from Cold Candy Cosmetics. This is a Nini brand and the owner is Jasmine Bean. You might know her from her Instagram looks or music. Cool different colors. I already swatched them on my arm. I also got a lipstick from her. And then I got a bunch of stuff from Morph James Charles palette. Now, I have very little knowledge about this person. I ordered this palette because it was on sale for 20 euros, which is a bargain for the quantity of eyeshadows that this has. And it just seemed like a very complete, colorful palette, which got me very excited. I don't really care about James Charles and I'm not trying to be a bitch. It's just like, I bought it not because of the person, I bought it because of the palette. It was a bargain. I'm excited to try it. I know that there's a lot of drama involved with this brand and influencer, but honestly, I just want to have fun with makeup. I also got a concealer and a contour stick from Morph, which I'm so excited to try. I like stick contour so much better because it's so much easier to apply. And uh, I'm really hoping this is good for fair skin because contour is so hard to find like a cool grayish, brown it's usually always too orange for my skin i'm gonna i think i'm gonna focus on the cold candy palette for today i might open the james charles and see if i need anything from there but i'm really try and do this like a first impressions for this palette i'm sure there's like a hundred millions of reviews about the james charles palette and a lot more qualified people to do great looks with it i guess and there's not that many reviews about this palette, so this certainly deserves a little bit more exposure. I love supporting indie brands, especially with this adorable, spooky, cute design. So I really hope it's a good quality palette. One thing that I adore is the size of the pans that are pretty big and you have a mirror, which is also so handy. Okay, so I really don't want to start with these eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna use a foundation that I haven't been using in a long time. This is the Jouer High Coverage Cream Foundation and it's such a high coverage foundation that, you know, I just don't feel the need to use it anymore. But I want to do a dramatic look. So let's go full coverage. This is also a little bit paler than my skin tone, so gotta blend it well, 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 well. I almost forgot how incredibly high coverage this foundation is. Use it on a good skin day because this is clinging to every dry patch of skin that I have. And I have very dry skin, so probably not very noticeable on camera, but it doesn't look great in real life. This is one of the reasons I just changed to BB cream. Um, because even if on camera some foundations look great, they don't really look that great in real life and there's no way for cameras, at least not with my camera, capture that so I always find it a bit misleading it looks like I am a total ghost and completely blank canvas on camera so for video and photos is great but then on real life I feel a little bit uncomfortable because you know it's just um, enhancing every dry piece of skin in my in my in my face so let's try the concealer now so I got the shade s1.35 and I hope this is pale enough. I, I didn't get the palest one because the palest one was white. Oh no. I think it's too dark. Sometimes I just wanted a concealer a little bit closer to my skin tone and I was afraid that I was gonna be way too white, but I should have gone for the lighter color. It's not too bad, but the foundation is lighter. I probably don't even need a concealer for this look because I'm gonna be covering everything with eyeshadow, but I just wanted to try it out. It's very liquidy, 
I made a promise to myself about a year ago that I wouldn't buy any makeup unless I actually need it. Uh, not that you actually need makeup because it's not a necessity, but you know, if I was completely out of a product then I would buy it, but if I still had it, I wouldn't buy it until I finished the one I had. So the only things that I bought was like eyeliner and mascara, which is stuff that I use constantly and you will run out pretty quickly. Apart from that, I've been really proud of myself for not um, fall in temptation to buy makeup, which is something that I don't even wear as often as I used to. It's always on top of new launches and buying new makeup and it's just becomes kind of this addiction and I was just starting to feel really silly about the amount of makeup I was buying and not really even using and the amount of money I was spending and it's just wasteful. I think I, I've been doing good but now uh, due to the current situation I've been very tempted to order online and I've been doing so with some frequency, <laughs> but still I've been holding myself. It hasn't been horrible. I've been spending my money mostly on plants. I'm becoming a crazy plant lady, but I kind of love it. Okay, so I'm not gonna try the contour stick, and this is the Dimension Effect Contour Stick in the color 12. Let's hope it's grayish. Not bad. I think it might work. Hmm. I'm using contour, but I it's just to try it out because I'm probably gonna cover my entire face with eyeshadow. But since we're here, I'm really happy. It's a beautiful color. It doesn't make me orange. This is the Heavenly Urchins. I'm gonna use the Celestial eyeshadow here as a highlighter because I've swatched it and it looked like it would be a beautiful eyeliner. This is the perfect eyeliner. I'm not even sure if you can see it on camera. I'm using the Hellgate's Orange. I'm gonna do like an inverted contour. So far the pigment is not overwhelming. I'm gonna use some setting spray. Setting spray helped a little bit. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really impressed with that orange. It's not pigmented enough. Um, yeah. I wish it was a lot more pigmented. It's almost kind of patchy. I'm gonna dip into Baphomet now, which is a red one. Better than the orange one, but still... No, actually this is better. This is better. I still feel like it needs some pigment. The more I blend, the rustier it looks. It doesn't feel like it's a true red. I'm gonna use some concealer just to clean my high lid here. I'm gonna use the white matte eyeshadow, which is cloud nine. I'm gonna set the concealer that I just put on my crease and nose contour. The white also clearly lacks pigmentation. You can barely see that I have any white eyeshadow. It just looks like I'm using a setting powder to set the concealer. I want to love this palette because it's an indie brand, it's affordable, it's from a young artist, so I'm not regretting buying it, but it's just, you know, I have to be honest because so far it's not been very impressive. The Celestial shade is so good as an eyeliner, but all the other eyeshadows so far are kind of lacking. The red is okay. Not a bad red. Is it the best red? Not at all. It's not the best red. Oh! Wow. Well, it's actually not that bad. Again, what am I doing? I don't know. I don't know. Just going with the flow. And I'm gonna try the red eyeshadow. I'm just gonna start and map out some sort of eyeliner shape. And the black is not bad. Not bad. Okay, let me do it with some liquid lipstick. And then I'm gonna set it with the black eyeshadow. 
I tried to set it with the eyeshadow, but it still looks very gray. So I want to do the other eye off camera and do the eyeliner, but I just couldn't help it to use other products. I really wanted to use this palette alone, but it's just not pigmented enough to make enough contrast to create an eye look like this, which I still don't know what it is. I'm, I, I just... I'm just out of control at this point. It was just starting to get a little bit muddy and I just needed higher contrast so I grabbed one of my favorite products lately which is this eye crumb from um, Revolution Makeup. This is so great. You can blend it, not very much, it dries pretty quickly so it's good to do like uh, cut creases, uh, eyeliner even, but if you're quick enough you can also blend it and uh, use it as an eyeshadow. It's a lot more readable now. Um, even though this is not by far my best makeup look, this by itself, I don't think I would be able to create a look by itself. Not even a natural look because it doesn't have any natural colors. So this would be mandatory for a bold look, something dramatic, and um, I, I just can't do something dramatic by itself. I don't think that we can hold indie brands to the same standards than massive brands such as Morphe, for example. So, you know, I, I wouldn't feel good with myself if I wasn't honest and I would be like, this is perfect. And because I don't think it is, I'm still gonna use it. I'm still gonna try and make the best of it. I haven't tried Alo and uh, the golden one here. And the golden one seems like it's pretty nice on the finger swatch. Um, I don't think I can incorporate it on my eye look, but seems like a nice shadow. The yellow one seems pretty chalky, um, not very impressive on the swatch. But yeah, let's just wrap this up. I'm done, because <laughs> this isn't gonna get any better. This doesn't look great, but it was a good test for the Volcani palette. I'm gonna go get ready to go to bed and take all of this off my face. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.